Okay. And it's live on YouTube. Okay. We're also on YouTube. Wait, okay, but everybody from our YouTube is like over. Yeah, so there. if you're if you're watching well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to tell. Um we just set up. All right, so we're on Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, and Stop TikTok. Chaos. Go to new YouTube live on our Tortured Post channel. Tortured Post Department is okay. out. I wonder what it sounds like. All right. So Tortured Post Department is out now. It is live. Everybody Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you guys wait, ready? Wait, wait, hold. Just give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Let me switch the computers. Let me switch. <laughs> this is chaotic. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, right. give me two seconds. I promise, guys. Oh my God. We actually put in a lot of thought and effort into we this. Did. For some reason, YouTube's not letting us go live right now, even though we were testing it all day. Stuff did not start going crazy until I brought holy water <laughs> into this place. You know what? That's what it was. <laughs> okay, is everyone, okay. All right. No, okay, so wait, we're doing okay. Fortnite. Everybody listen. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Right, yes. Here we go. The Torture Post Department for the very first time. Here we go. I was like, who is that? It's <laughs> <laughs>
right. We have the music video for that coming out tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Wait, Taylor posted something. Oh, okay. Taylor posted something. We're figure that out. So she's singing about a short lived relationship that lasted only a fortnight. Oh, sorry. Because she said, um, my husband cheated. Like, I want to kill him. And she was saying she's a functioning alcoholic and nobody noticed. And it, okay, so I'm so mad. <laughs> So the so first giving me fictional vibes because of the husband. Unless, I mean, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. What did she, what so, did you say? Um, the Torture Post Department, an anthology of new works and reflect events, opinions, and sentiments from a fleeting and fantastic. They, fatalistic. Fatalistic. Moment from, in time. One that was both sensational and sorrowful in equal measure. This period of the author's life is now over. The chapter closed and boarded up. There's nothing to app to avenge. to avenge. Thank you. No scores to settle. Once wounds have healed, and upon further reflection, a good number of them turned out to be self-inflicted. This writer is the firm is of the firm belief that our tears become holy in the form of ink on a page. Once we have spoken our saddest story, we can be free of it. That's so funny that you have the holy water, Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> also, new words we have learned. Fatalistic. <laughs> Avenge. So, so she's basically saying, like, she wrote this, but she's healed now. I mean, yeah. like, we were talking about that on the podcast. Like, yeah. in real time. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. She posted a whole bunch of pictures also, and she looks gorgeous in all of them. Oh, my God. We're going to have to recreate them. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Okay. We have Yay! to move on. We have to move on. All right. The Torture Tra Poets Department. Track number two, the Tortured Poets Department. Written by Taylor Swift and Jack Antonoff. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Put it play. Title track. Can we turn my mommy up just a little bit? Me too, please. Go with the apartment. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking body. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what?
Dang, a ring. Oh my god. My goodness. <laughs> it's well, it's like more like um whimsical than I expected. Yeah. I know. Am yeah. I crazy? Because I feel like the first two songs, could they be about Maddie Healy? That's, that's what first, I was getting that's to. That's my yeah. first thought. Yeah. A short lived romance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And who's gonna love you? You're a crazy tattooed guy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nobody's gonna love you like I love you right now. And um, it makes sense because like as a nineteen seventy five, like we like Maddie Healy is a tortured soul. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. that's like, yeah. like for Makes sure. Sense. And and she's talking about Dylan, someone. Dylan and Patty. Dylan and Patty. Right. I think they're both poets. like poets. Okay. We From all know Chelsea Maddie. Hotel. Maddie probably takes himself a little seriously. She's saying you're you're not that. Um, are you going to TikTok on your phone? Yep. Can we go live on there? Because then I can save the video. Oh, good. So right now we're live on Instagram, YouTube, and we're about to be live on TikTok. Yeah, because then from TikTok, you can save the video. So, I love the sound, though. I love yeah. the vibe. Of course, Happy it's chill. Jack Antonoff and Taylor. Of course. And Aaron Desner, so it's going to sound great. But I love it. It really is. Um, Like, I was kind of expecting this whole album to be, like, an extension of, like, the Midnight's 3 a.m. sound. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we're already we're already getting that. Also, people are saying that Taylor has a countdown on her Instagram. Yes, until 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Would that yeah. be 1 a.m. our time? Uh, or 2 a.m. our time. It'd be 1 a.m. our 1 time. 1 a.m. our time. I'm not yes. signed into TikTok. I also am not signed into TikTok. Um, does I anyone can. have the password? I, um, I do somewhere. All right. So we're going to figure this out. And we keep <laughs> listening. Yes. So we're going to move on to track number three. Also, oh. no one's going to love you like I love you. I mean, that's, that's total uh, reputation vibes. Who's going to touch you like I touch you? Nobody. So Nobody. This next track, track number three, if you're just joining us, we're the 13, po 13 of Taylor Swift Fan Podcast. We're listening to the Tortured Post apartments in our headphones yes. so that we don't get kicked off of all <laughs> of the places we're streaming on. And so when we hit play, we're going to count down that you hit play also. We're going to track number three, the My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys. Okay. And this is one of two songs written just by Taylor Swift on this album. Okay, and then we need a countdown. All right, so here we go. Track number three, My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys. Three, two, one. Getting Lana vibes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This one's fire, I love it.
All right, so now we're on TikTok. Hi, TikTok. Hi. Hi. Hi Thanks for joining us, everybody. Welcome to our the Tortured Poets Department listening party. For anybody joining, the way that we're doing it is we're listening on our headphones because we don't want to get kicked off for playing copyrighted music. So we're going to count down the songs that we're going to listen to, and then we can all <laughs> listen at the same time. That's basically how it's um, how it's going to work. Also, it's been a little stressful so far, and I think it's making my feet sweat. They weren't stinky before they then. They were sweating before No, this. no. I think yeah. it's making my feet stink. Sorry if y'all smell me. But hey, before we move on to track number four, Down Bed, Down Bad, mm -hmm. we want to let everybody know that we're having a really fun get-together next Saturday on April 27th at Grandscape in the Colony from 2 to 5. And it's we're going to have a really good time. Bring your blankets. Bring your friends. We're going to be doing a live podcast. Lots of fun giveaways, contests. We're going to have a Swifty Market. We have a bunch of vendors who are coming out that have Swifty themed products or Swifties with Swifty businesses. I got these glasses from a vendor that we're going to see next week. And, and they're adorable. For everyone listening right now, you can get 25% off tickets right now if you go to the link in the bios of all of our social media. And it's the keyword is 13 poets. One, three poets is the discount code for 25% off. So now, we're going to jump in to track number four, Down Bad. We're listening on our headphones. And so we're going to count this down so we can all listen together. And this is with Jack Antonoff. Again, with Jack Antonoff. So here we go. Down, down Bad. Down Bad. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What yeah. instrument is that? Amy? It sounds Indian. I don't Amy? know. Amy? Makes me happy. I love it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This has got like a false god kind of. Oh, this is my favorite so far. Oh, I already got it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
That was great. That fave so far. Favorite wow. so far. Yeah. Favorite, favorite so far. Favorite so far. Yeah. Also, currently the era that I, era era that I'm in. <laughs> <Error. laughs> my my fuck it and fuck them era. So <laughs> I know I like this uh, this one comment says Taylor, stop using me as your muse. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that was good. That, that was, was good. so good. I was trying to, I was trying to kind of figure out who the muse would be for that, but I feel like there's kind of like, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back. I mean, obviously mm -hmm. we're gonna deep dive into every single lyric mm -hmm. on the podcast. We'll so, be spinning a while. Yeah. So right now it's just kind of like obviously initial reactions. Like, oh my god, I'm married. I will be using that as a caption. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, track five, and this is also the first song on the album <laughs> with, with Taylor Desner. and Aaron Desner. So this <laughs> should be pretty good. Okay. And it's called So Long London. I, I'm not sure who this is going to be about. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're going to do track five now. <laughs> Remember when we did our Midnight's release party, we played a drinking game for every time Taylor cussed. Yeah. Someone said, good thing y'all didn't do a drinking game. I know. For <laughs> <It's a waste> <laughs> <time>. <laughs> but hey, one of the reasons we're not doing a drinking game, one, we got way too drunk last time. Yeah. Two, we're going to be on live TV tomorrow morning <laughs> on Merritt Street. It's Dr. Phil's new TV channel. Yeah. And we're going to be there on their morning show tomorrow morning talking about Taylor's new album and women in music. It's going to be a really good time. So, you know, it, Merit, we can't be too early crazy. Morning. Yeah. Mer <laughs> Merritt Street, like, morning show. Uh -huh. It's national. Feel free to tune in. Check your local listings. Check your local listings. Yeah. We're going to talk about Taylor, not how I want Dr. Phil to fix me because I'm in my fuck it, I don't care <laughs> and era. It'll be funny because y'all know we're staying up to listen, so we're going to be on live TV like. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I look like crap. Okay, track five. TV. Track five, track everybody. Five. Everybody, track five, count everybody. Count 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 three, two, two one. one. Being a pop tart. I thought that was an instrument. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, you will.
London. So long, London. That was heavy. Whoa. That was basically like the continuation to your losing me, right? Yeah. Died at the altar. Of waiting for you or waiting God. for you. Just now getting color back in my face. Dang. I feel like turning gray because we're like because we're, we're sick. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I kind of feel like that's written in my head just after someone's gotten over writing the song "Tolerate It." It's like okay, I went through yeah. the tolerated phase. Now we're done. Well, now still, we've moved on. Yeah. So still long talking longer. about putting up with it and just dealing with their relationship and then blaming her for walking out oh, when but she the, wasn't wanted anyway but I, I i need to i need to look at the lyrics but i just yeah, feel like i, I feel like it, i feel like it was you're losing me part two and this yeah. like in the story no. you know what i mean mm-hmm. Ooh. Hey. all right well that was what did five. you think aaron desner oh, so good i love the like bell sounding voice so, in the so beginning long, long, yeah long, 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 long. it was like yeah. church bells. Yeah, it was great. church bells. I wonder. It sounded like on church the bells. altar. Sure, I know. But I also wonder if there's any connections to London Boy that I missed. Right. Probably. Yeah. We're not the, are the lyric the videos? Lines? No, um, lyric videos aren't up. Okay. I just looked. Okay. All right. So let's move on to track number six. Ooh, what a title! But Daddy, I love but him. Daddy, I love him. <laughs> all right. So this is another Taylor Swift and Aaron Desner song. Yes. So, all right. Track number six. We're listening in our headphones. So you can listen to it too. It's like the silent disco. We just don't want yeah. to get kicked off for playing. Yeah, we don't want to get kicked off. Yeah. And right. be at different times as you. So. So, but Daddy, I love him. In three, two, one. In their pearls. That was a country vibe. Precocious. <laughs> Vipers? What? Right? Huh? Did it say vipers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Soliloquy.
Wow. Song. Okay, that's my favorite song so far. Wow. And that, correct me if I'm wrong, did that not sound like a country song? Yeah, absolutely. That kind of was like the strange, most country I've heard yeah, her sound in a while. on a new album right. in yes. a long time. Country, it almost, it gave me like, um, like movie soundtrack. Yeah. Like, yeah. Kind of, you know, like, like when you're like, it's like yeah. the, the peak part where the girl's yeah. like running, like whatever. 100%. But, oh, and I loved it. Did you guys kind of feel like, I feel like that was kind of about, everybody has something to say about her love life right like mm -hmm. not just like her like daddy love him like not just her dad but like every single person on planet earth has something to say about who she's dating yeah. and she's like oh i'm having his baby <laughs> no i'm not well, but y'all you say look at your face you know <laughs> like, um not your typical uh jerk neck reaction mm -hmm. track six though normally normally you go from right. the low low to something glittery gel pen, which we saw she left all of her gel black. Yeah. yeah. Which is interesting Thank because you. I feel like the album already, I mean, we've only gotten six songs so far, but I feel like it's already more upbeat than I expected. Yeah. And we know that the glitter gel pens aren't in here, yeah. but like. This is way more upbeat than I thought it was going to be. This is way more upbeat than I thought it and would be. And I'm, I'm definitely getting a midnight's vibe mm -hmm. from the album. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does anybody need a bathroom break? Me either. <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> You're gonna at some point you can either Yeah, come I'll wait. Go later. <laughs> Till next song. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna one more song and then we're gonna have a bathroom break. For Lacey. <laughs> Is this what it's like on a road trip? Like we just started. <laughs> we just started. I ran out of snacks. Give me some Nick. <laughs> All right. So we're going to track number seven. Track number Fresh seven. out the slammer. Who wrote this one? Uh this one was by <laughs> This is Taylor Antonoff. and Jack. Yeah, I like how it just says Antonov. <laughs> Antonov or Desner. <laughs> All right. All right. Ah! Okay. Track number seven. All right, get your headphones on. Here we go. I feel crazy. Fresh out the slammer. Three, two, one. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is country. Wild Wild West. Fresh out the slammer. You know? <laughs> Okay.
Second favorite, and I'm glad she finished the word, sitting on children's swings, because there for a second, she was just sitting <laughs> on children. Okay, I'm your back. Okay, <clears throat> the beat, it, it slowed down. Yeah, like it the had last like minute. a, like a dun, dun, Yeah. Dun. I love that, though. I do, too. I love that. I'm wondering what, I don't know, I, I need to see the lyrics so I can see the message. Initially, I'm thinking it's about Taylor dating Maddie Healy after being yeah. done with Joe. That's what she I thought. She did her time. She's out of the slammer. She was depressed. The first call I'm making after I get out of this is to you. Because there's all these rumors that her and Maddie may or may not have had a thing. Back in like a long 20, time ago. Like, yeah. 14, 15. Yeah. They're friends. Give or take. Like it's even safe. before Calvin Harris. Yeah. And yeah, then, yeah. you know, they each just had life, but they always had an attraction to each other. And okay, I'm out of the slammer, did this super long relationship. The first call I'm making is Thank to you. the one that got away, the one that. I've always had my own. Yeah. yeah. Well, and weren't there, like, I don't know if it was ever confirmed or if it was rumors or what, but, like, wasn't he, like, also working with her with, like, something with, like, Midnight or um, yeah, and it got cut. or something? I think it was Midnight. And then it, like, didn't make it and it got yeah. cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had said that. Yeah. yeah. And then it wasn't on the album. <laughs> so they could have, like, I need, we should have made a the timeline. I need a timeline. Is our, are we up on TikTok? I was trying to check it. Yeah, I didn't yes. see it live. Okay. You didn't? Wait, this is TikTok. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Like, if you're on your phone and you go to us? Really? Interesting. Are you sure this is it, Lacey? Yeah, it's 13. Yeah. I'm sure. In the corner. Huh. Because it would be live. Just a second. We're checking things out. So, I think. No, it would be on our profile. Wait, right. is this Instagram? No, it's TikTok. Oh, it's TikTok. Hmm. Well, we're on something. But it's, but it's true because people are commenting. Do you see us? Huh? No. All right. Mm. Is this TikTok? Is this TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> is this TikTok? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Well, yeah, people are commenting, so. Because yes, this is TikTok. Yes, yes, TikTok. This, hi, this hi. one's YouTube. Hi. Hello. Hi, and this you. one's Instagram. Hi. hi. Hello. Sorry, Instagram. I went to our profile and it didn't say live. So I don't know. Nikki, lie. No, but you're right. Amy brought Moon Pies. I did. Anna brought Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. And now. And I'm drinking wine. Thank you guys so much for joining us. They're not. If you're just now finding us, we're a 13 of Taylor Swift fan podcast. Find us wherever fine podcasts are distributed. <laughs> No, this is Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't heard, we're having a really fun event at Grandscape in the Colony, which is in the DFW area in Texas. We would love to have you there. If you go to the link in all of our bios to get tickets to our event, uh, you can get $25, 25% off if you use the code 13POETS at checkout. 13 podcastnet my niece, Rihanna, created the website. She did such a good job. Thanks, she also texted and said, um, yeah, I saw that link was broken. I fixed it on the website, too. So It was broken? Well, the, our, our YouTube uh, link. Yeah, because we started a new one. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Sorry, we were having some technical difficulties and earlier. And that's why my feet It's not our fault. That's, yeah. it's, it's stress. It's the computers. My feet sink over stress. Sorry, I need to phones. be taking notes on what my favorites are. All right. <laughs> I need that. So we're going to start. Uh, thank you for listening to uh, listening along with us. I'm sure if you weren't, you would have been way farther ahead than you are now. But thanks for sticking this it out. This is fun. Some yeah. people have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, we're having a party. So the next song we're going to listen to, track number eight. Florida! Florida? With Florence. Florida! With Florence in the Machine. Here we go. Three. Oh. We started it. <laughs> Weed or babies? My notes. We faded. Okay. 
fuck me up for the <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> We're just loving it. Destin. Great place. City in city in Florida. Yeah. Florida. Man, that hit hard. Wow. Fuck me up, Florida. Yes. Wow. Florida's I commanded in that song. Didn't she? Her yes. voice is so powerful. It was fabulous. I loved it. I need, I will admit, I don't listen to Florence and the Machine. But now I, and now I will. Mm -hmm. Now I need to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Florida in August. So expect a caption for me, fuck me up, Florida. <laughs> it's like a drug. But now uh, Florida is her drug instead of um, those we do not speak of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> hey, do y'all think Taylor Swift likes Harry Potter? I'm convinced she does. Um, let's not forget, Florida is the first place that she performed on the Eras Tour after the breakup news went public. And she switched out Invisible String. For the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Speaking Fuck it up, of, Florida. Speaking in Taylor Swift is like speaking a different language. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's great. All right. So let's move on to track number nine. This is Guilty as Sin. Ooh, Who wrote this with one? Jack. I've been with Jack and guilty I'm really sin? curious is this one, of this one because of the question mark. Yeah, sin. Guilty um, as Sin. Wait, make sure we count down. Count down. All right. We're going to guilty of sin. Guilty of sin. Three, two, one. Oh, am I allowed to cry? Mm -hmm.
love it. I like it. It's sexy. She's having impure thoughts. I know. I'm here for it. Wow. <laughs> she's writing about someone she can't have, but she's been thinking about him. Uh-huh. Am uh -huh. I? Maybe I've just missed it because we don't have the lyrics in front of us. But I feel like I haven't heard the lyrics that were in the like Spotify thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Yet. Not yet? Okay. I, I haven't mm -hmm. noticed them. Okay. Because I've been waiting for the come one, come all. It's happening again. And the dagger. The dagger one. Uh -huh. And then the crumbling. Yeah. Okay. Making sure. Okay. All Which right. Makes me think, is it on this album? Is it on the mm -hmm. 2 a.m. edition? Oh, no. <laughs> well, we still, have, we still have a bunch of songs left. I am. All right, so we're about to jump into track number 10, Who's Afraid of That's Little Old Me? Old me. Yeah. This one I'm already going to love. Who's Afraid of Little Old Me? Who's, who wrote this? Oh, Taylor wrote this all by herself. Ooh, oh, now God. I'm scared. Who's so scared of me? I can't do anything. Watch this. Little Old Me. Boom. Little me. All right, Little Old Me in three, two, one. Oh. Oh. I love mm. this one. Wow. Wow. The drama. Star, 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 extra star. One more joke.
Oh. Oh. Wow. I'm, oh. Yeah, that oh. Is my favorite. That should I, be. That takes top rank for me. Yeah, that, uh, oh. that takes top oh. rank. Who's afraid of little me? Takes the rank. Did she say, I am what I am because you changed me? Or I am what I am because you caged me? I heard caged. caged. I heard caged. Caged. I also heard they took her teeth out. And yeah. that's a little bit more funny than an escalator. Okay. I do have to <laughs> say, like, <laughs> wow. Was someone, was someone wow. Teeth out was that, was that yeah. a Taylor only production? Yes. Yeah. It was. No wonder. That was people, insane. People keep saying all these bad things about her. Oh. And look what's going to happen. Little 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 me. Little me. Yeah. Yes, you should be. be. Instant favorite. That just top, yeah. of, the, top of my ranking. Oh, really. Yeah. Wow. Woo. Someone said, um, <laughs> someone in the comments said that it's like Mad Woman and the man had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Ooh. That was, that was really We're good. Apple Music. <gasps> oh, we don't have Oh, Apple it's Music. trained me. I, I am what I am because you trained me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to look at the lyrics. Yeah. Normally we watch videos, we watch the lyric videos, they're and they're not yet. up yet, or at last check they weren't up. I like how we say normally, this is the second time we do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Am I check. missing the icon for like the karaoke part on Spotify? Uh, what? Like you can like get the words on Spotify? The, yeah. Oh, the maybe they're just not um, up yet. Yeah, they're not up yet. So track 11. All right, yeah, we're going to track 11. I can fix him. No, really, I can. This is with Jack. All right, here we go. Wow, okay. One, two, three. Matty Healy. <laughs> it is Matt Healy. I believe I can. I do love that. Oh, <laughs> plot twist. Uh, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't fix that. That Taylor twist on the plot end. Maybe twist. I can't. Oh, yeah, I, can't. I love that one. I, it's like a dark country. It's haunting. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? Yes. You know what? There's way more Maddie Healy like inspo yeah. muse than I expected. However, Same. I don't blame her because she's like she was in a super long relationship. There's like four or five albums of inspiration from Joe. Yeah. She's fresh out the slammer. 
first guy you call. Hello, inspo, 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 inspo. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense for sure. Crazy highs, crazy lows. Yeah, and a short relationship. Yeah. <laughs> and have y'all ever read the like poems that like Halsey wrote about Maddie Healy from like oh. way back when? Were they like, way back in the day. Like oh. back, like yeah. if I had to guess, like 2010, 11, like like over a decade ago. Yeah. But the way that she even wrote about him back then, it's like like tortured. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like this man is immune. Like people have tried fixing him before. He can't be fixed. Like, Halsey's going to have that on repeat, for sure. So we've been discussing what LOML means. Love of my life, that's what I'm assuming LOML that's means. That's what it typically means. Yeah. Lobster. Lobster of my life. Uh, this is with Des here. Aaron. All right. Aaron. Aaron. Okay, Aaron. yeah, I'm excited to find out what LOML stands for. All right. Make sure we count down. All right, so we're going to do LOML, LOML now. If you're just joining us, we're listening in our headphones so we don't get kicked off the stream. Of uh, because of the copywritten music, so here we go. We're gonna all Track listen together. 12. Track number twelve. We're count it down. Three, two, one. And just saying, it didn't play. Only we know that, Nick. I know. Well, it didn't play. I'm telling everyone it didn't ah! play. Nick's messing it up again. I'm not messing it up. I'm just had to like refresh. Not playing. All right, starting over. LOML. Three, two, one. <laughs> so Hold on. <laughs> Is our Just internet me. okay? Here we go. Here we LOML. Go. No, no, no. That's okay. For some reason, LOML's not no. playing. No, no, we're not. Ah! Skip it. Maybe it. Is it Nick? Is it Nick? I'm just clicking it's it. It's Nick. Does it's anyone? Like it. <laughs> Does anyone have Apple Music? I don't. Does anyone have an available phone? Maybe we can just. Play. Yeah. Your is own. this Apple Music? Y'all hate my oh. phone. You hate my phone all the time. <laughs> I'm not operating. Hold on, it. sorry. We don't know what's going on. More technical <laughs> issues. Uh, <laughs> I think we might have lost internet or something. Is no, that... because the the other oh. song started playing. <laughs> well, maybe she just doesn't want us to listen to Ella now. Maybe her, we're just not her post ready. Her went away. For me. Oh, weird. The one that she Sorry, guys. It's not I working for some reason. Weird. So many technical issues. Hold on. I'm trying to Are we glitching? This. Is she glitching? Also, Did she plan this? Is it playing on the phone? Yeah, I just playing on my phone. Sorry, I'm trying to connect. Mm -hmm. Are we? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stand by. Ah! Oh, okay, so now... We're gonna play LOML. LOML. Now we're gonna play it. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. What she's doing on Spotify. It's giving a, a great war. LOML means last of my love.
Loss of my life. Loss yeah. of my life. I mean, that was the the Taylor twist right there. Yeah. That song was. Woo. What a heartbreaking Hard. lyric. It was legendary, but it was momentary. Yeah. It was unnecessary. It's a moment I could wish I could unrecall. Well, there and they were talking there. about rings and cradles. Yeah. And being buried. Now you can be buried in that tux. Wow. That they were going to be married in. Yeah. That's a. Whew. Are you crying? Um. Yes. I think I was going to ask if anybody else's feet sink, but I think I'm just done with that joke. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay. So does she still have that countdown clock going? Yes. It's got. We got another like 40 minutes. 42. So, all right. So now we're going to move on to track number 13. 13. I can do it with a broken heart. Who did you write this with? Oh, this oh, is with Jack. All right, I haven't we're Jack. Recovered from that one, huh? I said I haven't recovered from L. I I know. Like I loss of my life. That was really. All right, if you're just joining us, we're listening on our headphones, so we don't kick, get kicked off of all the streaming platforms. Um, so you can also listen to it, however you choose to listen to it too. We're hearing it nice and good in our headphones. So, um, all right, so now we're gonna do. I can do it with a broken heart. All together, we're all gonna press play at the same time. In three, two, one. It's not like Mastermind. Yeah. Man, so
Uh, wow. Because I'm miserable. <laughs> and no one knows. It's like the most upbeat song, but it's still so, so depressing. Yeah, I almost so feel depressed. like I feel bad. Birthday. I feel bad for We're cheering so loud it. at the Ares tour. At the Ares tour. But that's so cool how like there's the elements of like the one, two, three. Yeah. Four. Like the like, you know what I mean? Like As she's gearing up for the, the Ares tour, like, she's yeah. doing her beats. She's doing her beats. Smile, smile, bitch. Smile. Yeah, a little bit like Tamara's light smile, bitch. Like, oh my yeah. God. And I don't know. There, there were some words that I didn't know. Preemptive. That's not the word. I, I can't. I don't know what word it was now. But I need, I need words in front of me. There was a word either I'm gonna learn or I just didn't hear her say. But there's gonna be a lot of learn. Well, learns learn. learn. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. What's your favorite learn? <laughs> but I love the placement of putting that song. Um, oh what? Oh, TikTok's having us do something. I love I love the placement of that song right after LOML because LOML broke me. Yeah. Yeah. So that was like our track six almost. Right. Like Man. a reissue of the whiplash it was mm -hmm. such an upbeat song yeah big time there was another lyric that stood out to me oh where's your notes we need words <laughs> my notes are right here i just wrote i can do it with a broken <laughs> i was getting suburban legends Ooh, yeah 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 just like the a, vibe just a, the vibe of the just song like, I mean, it's got a little bit more too and it's getting more wine <laughs> we're eating uh, i'm eating a pop tart what's everyone's favorite pop tart Strawberry. Right in the chat. I think this is frosted strawberry. You gotta it's go cold frosted. too. Gotta go frosted. For, yeah. for warm, but I'm not complaining. It's good. It's the first pop tart I've had. What kind of wine time. are you having? Red. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Menage a Trois. God, you're such a wine snob. <laughs> Menage a Trois Decadence. Decadence. I All think right. that's the word I didn't hear in that Track song. 14. Decadence. I don't know about how you say it. <laughs> Number 14, the smallest man who ever lived. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was nervous that you didn't have your headphones on yet. Oh, they're right here. Okay. Is this, <laughs> is this gonna have who's afraid of little me vibes? Like the smallest man who ever lived. That sounds like carnival -esque, I just right? can't wait to find out if this is about Joe or Maddie. It's with Aaron Desner who wrote it. Yes. With her. So yeah. let's see what it is. All right, smallest man who ever lived. Let's all listen together in three, two, one. Ooh. Maddie. Mm. 
Oh. Whoa. Oh, that was a good one. Whoa. Whoa. I want to hear that with a full orchestra, like like stripped down yeah. and like full big band. Ooh. That was powerful. She was angry. Yeah. 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 Uh, As she should be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Been there. Wow. Oh, these are getting more intense. We only yeah. have two songs left. What? Really? Yeah. Well, well, and, and then something in 30 minutes. We're, on, we're about right. to go to track number 15, The Alchemy. Exactly 30 minutes and 48 seconds. And then in 30 <laughs> minutes, her countdown clock will end, and we'll see what happens then. Wow. Okay. Give a message to the smallest man who ever lived. So, The Alchemy is written by Taylor Swift and Jack Antonoff. It's Jack's last song on the standard version of this album. Are we ready? I'm ready. All right, we're all gonna start it all together, all across the world. <laughs> Three, two, one. White wine. My bad. Boy, that's not what I expected. Yeah. I say that after every song, but it's like, wow, that really <laughs> just was not what I was expecting, like at all. But I think I just need to more processing. Yeah, see words. Yeah, I need to see the lyrics. But yeah. Who can I be? Um, we only have one left. We only have one song left. Okay. Before we get into the last song, I want to remind everybody. Um, first of all, thank you for tuning in because this is so special. 
happy the Torture Post Department day officially. Um, listening with you guys and with other Swifties is like the most special. Also, we are hosting an event called Swifties in the Park. It's coming up next Saturday on April 27th at Grand Scape in the Colony. It's going to be an afternoon out in the park. We're going to do a live podcast. We're going to have giveaways, games, and a Swifty market. So we're going to have a bunch of Swifties with small businesses there setting up to like sell their shirts, cups, t-shirts, anything that they make. We're also going to have a tattoo artist there. It's going to be really cool. And I bought we, these sunglasses today. From yes, someone from one of our be, vendors. Yeah, she'll be there next weekend. So. It'll be yeah. it'll be super cool because we just want to talk about this album with everybody. Um, but so we do. If you guys are interested in coming, tickets are thirteen dollars. You can get them at the thirteen podcastnet or we have a promo code. Since you guys are tuning in to our listening party, what's the promo code? The promo code is thirteen poets. Use that promo code. When you're checking out, you get uh, 25% off your tickets uh, to come out next weekend. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Someone says that there's a new timer. <sighs> no. We're using all of our phones. I know. We're <laughs> we relying on it. We're yeah. relying on Amy's Android right Mine now. Mine still says 25 <laughs> minutes and 5 seconds. Okay. Still counting down. What do we think it's going to be? Uh, unless another, it's another like a like a deluxe like unless it's another platform. Um, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like a postmortem edition. Mm -hmm. More songs. Mm -hmm. What's her website have? Is that what you're on? No, no it's her on Instagram. Instagram. Is it? So <laughs> I saw Google Taylor. <laughs> I saw um, postmortem takes place two hours after someone dies. So. It would make sense, like, the two. Yeah. Um, so, she's well, going to have revived songs, maybe? She's going to be, um, she be amped up. Someone says, I live in Ireland. I'm going to Ireland for the Eras Tour. Dublin. <laughs> see you there. See you, Ireland. I will see you there. All right, so we are now listening to the very last song together. We're going to be listening to Clara Bow. It's going to be a good one. In three, two, one. This is with Aaron Desner, by the way. See you next. Oh, there's that lyric.
It is bright, Taylor. You it look like bright, Taylor Swift. Taylor. Wow. Yeah. You look like, it's weird to hear her say her own name. Yeah. Is that a weird the, thing to the say? third person? <laughs> yeah. You look like Taylor Swift, but, but you have something. She does it. Like the lakes. Like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you look like that American singer. You look like an American singer. <laughs> well, that was the standard version of the Torture Poets Department. Yes. Woo! We did it. What do we think? What's everyone's thoughts? Mm, it's still processing. I'm thinking my favorite, but Daddy, I love him is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think I like that one. That was mm -hmm. the kind of country, the one that I thought was kind of country mm -hmm. sounding. Yeah. yeah, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with Down Bad. Mm -hmm. Amy. <sighs> oh. oh no, I really like Fortnite too. I did. Yeah. Fresh out the slammer in Florida. That were great really back good. to back. Oh, the think... smallest man who ever lived, though. I know. Yeah. And who's afraid of little old me? Uh, that was that was great. That was that insane. Was great. I great think gig. who's afraid of little old me and down bad were insane. L in o L O M L. Yeah, that was a heartbreaker. Was, uh, yeah, straight to the heart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Smallest, but I also like clear a bow too. That was yeah. a nice, a nice bow <laughs> on the end yeah. of this edition. There's still a countdown, a countdown, and um, a couple other editions. Eighteen minutes. All right, we got eighteen, 18 minutes. minutes. <laughs> what do we do for eighteen? Do we want to stay on here and chat? Yeah, let me get a snack. Sorry, sorry if you were trying to leave, and I just suggested <laughs> that. No, um, I'm not going or nowhere. we could go do initial rankings. Eighteen minutes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Yeah. We really appreciate it. We are having so much fun. Sorry yeah. I screwed it all up when we were late. No. I messed something up on YouTube. I don't know what I did. I screwed something up. But. Uh, Anna, you didn't yeah. know what your favorite I missed the Charlie Someone Puth said line. LOL at the Charlie Puth line. Yeah, that, that was a line. Yeah, it was they in, were um, talking about how great Charlie Puth was and he doesn't get recognized he doesn't get, for he it. Should be big, he should be bigger. Yeah. yeah. I forget which song oh, that was totally in. Missed it. it was early. Mm -hmm. and it, it was, was a song on. I felt like was about Maddie Healy. But, yeah. Uh, I forget which one it was in. Yeah, that was a that was a weird line. It is weird to hear her say Taylor Swift. Now Charlie Puth is trending. <laughs> so oh, the power of Taylor. She just name drop you in a song. I mean, he's, he's super talented, but that's just, that's cool. Yeah. Nick, you're handsome AF. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> All right. Stop hitting okay, on him. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Okay, <laughs> Dharma. <sighs> okay, who's afraid of little old me? That was a really, really that good one. Yeah, Anna, what was your favorite? I think who's afraid of little old me and down bad are the two. And then LOML. I need to just cry to that one. But oh, daddy, yeah. but daddy, I love him. I but, think but daddy, daddy, that fresh, or fresh out, afraid. Fresh out the slammer was also just really cool. Like. Just, was good. They were all just really good. I need to just Don't listen a hundred more times. Question mark. Someone, uh, someone. Oh, just and I wrote, can do it with a broken heart. Someone just wrote on YouTube: Is it me or did you guys notice a lot of melodies or cadences in her songs that made you immediately think of another song? Yeah, I heard a lot of 1989 vault tracks and Midnight's in there. Totally, 100. Yeah, percent And the whole time, I was like, okay, what song am I hearing? Because I definitely heard Suburban Legends. I heard Midnight. Mastermind. Or, sorry, Mastermind yeah, in there. Mastermind. Yeah. Yeah, I heard. I heard a like you're losing me. Um, <laughs> I gotta say, I think maybe me and Anna both had maybe the same thought in Fortnite when Post Malone started singing. I was like, oh, is that Taylor's Midnight Rain? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I was like, oh, no, no, it's Post Malone. I was like, who is that? I know. That's to literally be like, who is that? Like, I forgot that Post they Malone was really in good it. They sounded really good together. They did, but yeah. with Florida, I immediately. Immediately knew that Florence was singing with yeah. with Post Malone. I was like, wait, like who is that? Like who is, is that? God? Yeah, I was like who? <laughs> but you know what's interesting? Like, I mean, obviously her artistic talent is insane. But from like the five second teaser that we got for the music video that we're gonna see for Fortnite tomorrow, it's gonna be. It intense. wasn't the same. It didn't vibe. match. No, in my head. So maybe there's a, or maybe I mean. Maybe there's just the story and that was just like boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
the highlights. Yeah. Someone said Emma Stone is on Florida. What? Which is absolutely crazy. Huh. All right, Valerie, explain. <laughs> I don't know this. Valerie, tell us why Emma Stone is on Florida. Florida is the one with Florence in the Machine. Yeah. Yeah. Which was the one with love was dating? It, that was me up Florida. He was afraid a little. Yeah. Down the street. Yeah. Yeah. She's in the background credit. Or yeah. Oh, uh, how cool. Valerie said that Emma Stone is in the background credits of Florida. Interesting. I did think there was some. What's the movie she just did? Emma. Oh, uh, the poor things. Poor things. things yeah. Poor things vibe in the trailer. Yeah, I got that too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did Joe cheat on Taylor? Someone said. I felt like mm. there was something. There yeah. was some lyrics also about someone creeping in inboxes and DMs and stuff mm -hmm. that weren't Taylor's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask the, the smallest man who ever lived, <laughs> but it definitely sounds like Wait, he was. So, do we think smallest man who ever lived was who? Who? Who do we think that one was about? I'll have to re-listen to it. I don't know. Um, I'll have to re-listen as well. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was about him honestly yeah i don't know it's interesting like i just i need to see a timeline of like when she wrote certain songs because you know like like when we got you're losing me later we found out that that was written like two years before we listened mm -hmm. to it mm -hmm. so it's like i wonder she I mean, was warning him. So I mean, and some some of these songs do sound more recent when she talks about like the Eras tour and like my sparkly summer. She said that at some point. Mm -hmm. Resting my mm -hmm. resting my sparkling summer. That was in the smallest man. But then there's other ones that make me think that she had kind of written them a while ago, like before. But I don't know. That's why I need. That's why Taylor needs to come on Thirteen and Ten to a Fan Podcast. Yeah, Taylor, if you're watching, we'd love and to have come you to our party. Come to our celebration. Please. Tickets are yeah. only thirteen dollars, Taylor. But you can use our promo code Thirteen Poets. Thirteen and get Poets for twenty five percent off. off. Thirteen minutes. Thirteen, 13 minutes. minutes. All right, we gotta go back again. Yeah, the uh, the map to uh, and timeline of all of Taylor Swift's music and connections. It's like the, it's always sunny in Philadelphia map, where it's Charlie Day, like yeah. going crazy at a map with string. Yeah, everywhere. but it's also like. But the, I feel like that's part of what, I mean, the Tortured Poets Department, we like joke and say <laughs> that, um, what was I saying? The Tortured Poets Department, we've been like, oh, we're the students of the Tortured Poets Department, but like we really are students of Taylor Swift's writing, like mm -hmm. students of Taylor Swift's discography, where like we can listen to a lyric and immediately know where it connects. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like as... Like, I feel like we joke and say, like, we have a degree in, like, Swift, but we really do. Like, as <laughs> fans of her discography, to be able to, like, match certain songs to other songs that were, like, four albums ago. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. I definitely didn't, at least on the initial listen, I wasn't hearing anything super recent about a certain football player. Uh-uh. I didn't hear anything No, like I that. didn't either. Uh, no. It was about no. Joe and Maddie from most of yeah. what I could hear. Yeah, well, because I wonder how much time takes place between her, like, completing an album, like, completing writing an album to, you know, get the... Submitting getting it. Getting them all mixed. Getting it all mixed. The, the like, vinyls made. The photos taken. The vinyls made. The CDs, like, everything. Branding that, the Branding, album. Yeah. planning the promotions, the rollout. Like, how much time happens between her finishing the album and us hearing it? Some people are saying the alchemy is about Travis. I don't know. The alchemy there, it's, she's talking about the chemistry and what that does to your bodies. And it's almost like she's, re I'll have to listen to it I'll again, but it's like she's it. returning to someone who has such a powerful effect on her, just her chemistry, internal chemistry. I don't know. It says that there's a, people are saying there's a football reference in it. Football? No. Oh, maybe. Can we listen to it again? We have 13 minutes. We have 12 minutes. Look at the lyrics. So many football references. Maybe the alchemy is about Travis. I don't Can you pull up the ball as much as I do. Can you pull up the lyrics on the, on the board? Like on Spotify? We're, we have or a like, giant TV behind us, but it's on a Spotify. Or like genius lyrics. Yeah, or the alchemy. Lyrics. Taylor Swift. The alchemy lyrics. Let's see. Touchdown. Where? Where? Chorus. Touchdown. So when I touch Come down. from the team. Call the amateurs. Okay, so when, okay, here's the chorus to the alchemy. 
So when I touch down, call the amateurs and cut them from the team. That's two references. Ditch the clowns, get the crown. Baby, I'm the one to be. Because the sign on your heart said is... It's still reserved for me. Honestly, who are we to fight the alchemy? Okay. All right. So when I touch These down. These blokes the warm the benches. Oh, that's third. Winning streak. Four. Okay. Yeah, maybe. All right. Because I do like this line. He jokes that it's heroin, but this time it's with an E. So like hero heroin, heroin with without an E is a drug. And they're talking about chemistry and chemicals. But. Heroin with an E is like a female hero, a heroine. So she says, honestly, who are we to fight the alchemy? But the alchemy is what? Like something that turns into gold? Isn't that what you I mean, I think about? alchemy is just like chemistry. I think oh, it's okay. like chemicals Manip and manipulate. Yeah, you're like oh, a chemist almost. Okay, gotcha. Shirts off and your friends lift you up over their heads. It's a very football thing to do. Mm -hmm. Cheers, chanted. There's no there's no chance trying to be the greatest in the league. Travis is great. Where's the trophy? He just comes in running over to me. Okay, okay so maybe it's right. not Travis. Point proven. Okay, all Travis right. Has a <laughs> okay. Yeah. But these blokes form the benches is funny because like blokes is very British. Yeah. yeah. And so all long these London. English guys are. Bye. On the they were just warming up. Oh dang. <laughs> For her. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. Uh, and then Travis. wait. Hold on. Wait. Scroll oh. down. I'll look at the bottom. This happens once every few lifetimes. These chemicals hit me like white wine. Yeah, okay. Well, I should have had, you know, and I did think about grabbing white wine. But I didn't. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Well, that's good. good Thanks for pointing that Thanks. out, guys. You don't have to listen to our episode on it in like five <laughs> months from now when we are able to get to it. <laughs> yeah, but see, we, but the, now people are saying like, okay, the alchemy, like football season wasn't going on when this would have been written. I don't even think any were okay. She's so, very clear it's about a love affair that's over. She said that in a post, right? I need lots more time. We need more and time. Words. And you know what? I'm pretty sure that part of the like promotion is um Taylor's gonna share like voice memos with like iHeartRadio of like the songs and stuff. So we're we're gonna get more context. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is our first take. Um to our friends that are watching on TikTok specifically, our phone is about to die. <laughs> we are also live on Instagram and on YouTube if you guys want to move over that way because this phone's going to die any second now. Thank you so much for tuning in on uh, TikTok, our TikTok. but stay on YouTube and Instagram. Stay on YouTube, stay on Instagram. To our TikTok friends, if you guys want to move over that way, we are live on TikTok and Instagram, the 13 charger. podcast. We're Maybe waiting. Turn it upside down, but... Oh, wait, I guess I can take it from we're, this one. What we're doing right now, we're just hanging until um, until this countdown that's on her Instagram then we're like upside down. is up. Oh, I'll log in. Upside down. Oh. And then we'll just... see, because she has a countdown that's going to end here in about eight minutes. Oh, wait. <laughs> I can't do that. That's hey, funny. don't leave us, TikTok. Oh, there we go. Just kidding. I got uh -huh. it. Hi. Got it. Fixed okay. it. Stay, TikTok. Stay. We're problem solvers. Yeah, so her... Post is gone. Right? What post? The one that she posted right when the album went out. Oh. Is that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it Maybe got, she just had a typo. It got pinned. It got pinned, guys. That was the oh. wrong spot. This picture isn't great. Yeah. Yay. Also, I brought um, decorations from home. So I brought a happy birthday banner. And I was like, oh, it's Tortured Poet's birthday. And then I realized, wait, it's post-mortem. And I didn't think it was appropriate. But I brought them anyway just because. Happy birthday. Well, it's kind of poetic. Birth and. Birth and death. death and rebirth. We'll see what happens here in just a little bit. But this is what happens when you grab stuff from the house. Because I didn't have time to do anything else. But happy birthday to Poet's Department tortured, torturing. Oh, did any of you get any merch? You're wearing one, Anna. Well, I am wearing this. Uh, this is like a fan made merch that oh. I that I got. This is TTPD, and on the back, oh my god, you guys haven't even seen the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says, and so I enter into evidence my tarnished coat of arms. My muses required like bruises, my talismans and charms. 
the tick, 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 tick of the love bombs, my veins of pitch black ink, all fair in love and poetry. Sincerely, the chairman of the tortured, tortured poets department. Were those lyrics? Did we miss those? Uh, no. Was it from the desk? It was from, it was like when she first announced it, like yeah. that's what she posted, but like, were they lyrics or no, they were just like a I note remember, from her? Did I hear a Towson something? So that's what, but this is like a fan made. This is like a fan made thing. Hold down. But for merch, I did successfully get the hat, the um, torture post apartment hat, and I did get myself the sweatpants. I have not gotten merch yet. Um, I did not I'm get going any. to. I did see um, people on TikTok guessing if it was going to be um, hospital gowns <laughs> and and the little hospital socks that have the um, padded. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Sticky. Uh, um, I love the embossed beige sweater. That looked great, but I did not. I tried Is getting a, a hat. Again? Was there a card? There's no card again. Uh -uh. I didn't see one. Everything sold out. Yeah, I, I wanted... tried getting a hat, and I put it in my cart, and I said, okay, I got to put brush my daughter's teeth. And then after I brushed my daughter's teeth, uh, the hat was sold out. Yeah, everything sold out. I wanted to get the uh, crew neck, the white one that just had, like, pity pity on it. Yeah, and it's just, like, stripes on the yeah, collar. Yeah, that sold out. I mean, everything sold out. The vinyl display, I wanted to get that, too. And that, yeah. that was sold out, no. like, when I first went to the site. I think they'll all be back eventually, yeah. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll come back. Yeah, but I did get the hat. Sorry, Nick. I'll buy it from you. Mm. We'll talk about it. <laughs> so long, boy. <laughs> All right, we have four minutes until whatever this countdown is. Okay. What do we think the countdown is going to be? Serpentine. I think you think it's, it's going to be reputation? No. Be? Oh, Lacey does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm in for a double album drop. Yes, I was thinking reputation. Um. Now I'm not confident in it anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm I was thinking it was going to be a good book. Postmortem, postmortem edition sounds right. And what's that mean? Just more songs? Yeah, yeah, kind of like 3 a.m. edition of right. Nice. Postmortem, like you were saying, it's like it, like an autopsy that happens like two hours after, right? Yeah. Um, which I wonder if that'll include the bonus tracks like the Black Dog, the Albatross, like, or if we'll have to wait for them, or if we'll have it'll to wait another variation. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Or, like I had said in our one of our emergency episodes, I still think that she could release like something physical, like a like a book of poetry, I think is something she could release. Um, but I you don't know, know, typically the lyric videos are out at this time. What if it's like a whole visual album? Like every song has a music video. Oh, oh. look at Amy. Watch because nothing, end. nothing's out yet, and I would think that it, something would be out. I remember we had that a similar thought with Midnight uh -huh. because she post, posted some teaser. And we're like, "This is a visual album," but right. then it ended up being just a Bejeweled music video. Yeah, we because there was like ourselves. so many different time yeah. theories and scenes in the Bejeweled video or sets of the Bejeweled video. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that we would were make like, sense, Amy, because yeah. normally, normally there are you, uh huh, weird videos. Anna was saying earlier, this is only our second time to do it, but before this album release, I, I would still go and look at the lyric videos. I'd be the first thing I'd do is go to yeah. YouTube and search the songs that way. Yeah, someone said a book of poetry would make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I was that thinking, be like, good. because at the end of the All Too Well music video, she's, like, reading a book. And also, if you order, like, the collector's mm -hmm. CDs, they come with bookmarks. Nick, is that you? <laughs> We're looking at Taylor Swift's website oh, okay. and she's laying on the bed. So I'm thinking maybe like something physical like a book of poetry, but deluxe edition with like more songs makes more sense. Two minutes! Two. 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 And then we're going to have to take like a two hour power nap. <laughs> yeah. Me and Amy. Yeah, so if you didn't hear earlier, um, we're going to be on a morning TV show tomorrow talking about this new album. Yeah. Um, it's on Merritt Street Mornings on Merritt Street Media. You can, it's a new channel. It was started by Dr. Phil not too long ago. And so uh, they have a, a morning news program and they've asked us to come talk about Taylor Swift and her new album and all the excitement. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So check out for the Merritt Street channel. 
on your cable provider and you'll see us bright and early at seven. What time? Uh, eight ish. Around eight ish. Central time. Central time. Central time. Beyond TV. Um, wait, there was a comment here that was funny. Oh, where was where did it go? Oh, oh here. Funny. Lessons from this album. Don't do rebounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Someone said, where's the countdown at? It's on her Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. If you get on her profile and you uh, like swipe down as if you were refreshing. And you show them um, your Android. It pops up. It's right One. now. It's working, guys. Wait, it's already. Wait, it's 1 a.m. Wait. <gasps> it says it's still a countdown. Oh, it's still counting down one minute? <gasps> Yeah. I don't know. Nick why. just refreshed. <laughs> refresh, refresh, refresh. What are we refreshing? Like everything? I'm just refreshing everything. One more. Anna, how are you getting out of work? I'm not. I will be there. <laughs> We're actually at Anna's work right now. We are. <laughs> and Amy's work. Yeah. I will be on the Kit Craddock Morning Show for the first hour, and then I'm leaving to go do the Dr. Phil show. Okay, Wait, somebody says Spotify has more songs. <gasps> Spotify, what? Spotify, Spotify. Go, 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 I'm go, going, go, going, go, going, go, going. go. Okay, I'm Tortured Poets. Clara. Next. I'm stop. not doing it. I'm just clicking. Okay, right now we're not seeing anything on Spotify. <laughs> yes! Oh no. What? Sorry. Oh my God. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what about Spotify on your phone? Uh, right now we're not seeing anything. Are y'all seeing what anything? What about on your phone? No. Okay, let me look on my phone. Make your phone. Oh, yes! <laughs> Hold on. The Tortured Poets Department, the anthology. <gasps> and we have a oh, lot oh, more songs. It's a double album. We have so it's many songs. Album. We have so many songs. How many? Hold on. Okay, I didn't clear, but we have one. Secret two, double three, album. Three, four, five, <laughs> five, 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 five
the album is on there, but we're also on a separate Spotify account on another on TV. And it, oh, there it is. It just popped up. Um, so anthology. maybe it's taking some time. Uh, close out your app and reopen it. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, we're getting some Swift Alert apps. Bonus Swift album. Alert notifications. Yes, Swift Alert. Bonus, Bonus album. album. Double album. album. Double album. All right. If we you weren't crazy it, when we said this. Click click out uh, or like refresh your, your pages and stuff, and we're going to get going, I think. Yeah, because right? yeah. we have to go to work in four <laughs> hours. All right. So right now we're going to do Black Dog. We're going to listen in our headphones. So it's going to be silent. So it might be kind of weird. So play it on your side, okay? All right. Here we go. The Black Dog. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Wow! Ah. Between your legs, you are leaving. Wow. Yeah. Guys. Wow. Wow. Guys, Taylor Swift, this is why you need to listen to Taylor Swift, gentlemen. She tells you what to do. Turn your location off, okay? Because <laughs> he forgot to turn his location off, and that's how she knew that he was at the Black Dog. Yeah. 
with somebody else. Turn your location oh, off, guys. The black dog. Turn your location off. Also, just also don't just be a don't, shithead. Don't, don't, don't cheat on your love. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That, that's, that's, it. it. That's, that's my favorite song. Yeah, that was so that, far. That yeah. was fantastic. That that's my favorite yeah. song. That's my favorite that song. Help. Like, Tell no. between your legs you're leaving. Oh. That was with Jack Antonoff. She wrote that. Oh, oh, my God. So, okay, this is really a bummer. Oh, somebody said it's on Apple now. Okay. Okay. It's on Apple Music now. Okay, okay good. So, we're listening to it on Spotify, and I'm not seeing the lyrics on Spotify anywhere. But um, now we're going to go to this second track on the Torture Post Harmony Anthology. Is this it? is all one word, okay. and it's all in lowercase. Okay. And it's, I'm going to get you back. Ooh. All right. All right. I'm going to get you back. So, all right. I'm going to get you back. This is On the anthology. We're listening on our headphones. You get ready to push play on your end. In three, Three, two, one. Oh, it's so this is more what I was expecting the first time. So I guess is this if we're doing a black and white album, which version? Well, this is the black dog. Mm-hmm. So this would be the black version, the black album, I guess. 
Right, because she was having the black and white everywhere. She even switched out the twos at the library for um, white and the hands. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it was just the covers black. The cover yeah. is black, and the other cover was white. Was white. Oh, well, then there we go. Yeah. The anthology. I feel like these. I mean, we've only heard two so far, but I feel like these are more. What I'm Joe using inspired. Here? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Joe inspired. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm. Oh my God! I cannot believe that she just gave us two albums, two whole albums, two whole giant albums. I can't. Giant albums. It. Yeah, Lacey knew. <laughs> yeah, Lacey knew. All right, the next song that we are going to listen to is the Albatross. Woohoo! The Albatross. All right, so everyone, headphones on, and we're going to hit play in three, two, one. Wait, somebody says there's a book. There's a book. A book? There's a book. Is she posting? I don't know what's going on. I don't see one a book. Second to sharpen. I don't see one. Maybe it's on Periscope.com. Also, I love this song. Persona non grata. Wow. Wow. Okay, I don't I we didn't see anything about a book on her website, so mm -hmm. I don't know where people are. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. So, the next one we're going to jump into. Y'all jumped like that. I thought it was a lobster. I was like, "Oh no, there's a lobster in a lyric somewhere." <laughs> All right. So, this next one that we're going to jump into now is called Chloe or Sam or Sophia or Marcus. What? <laughs> That's what it's called. It's called Chloe or Sam or Sophia or Marcus. Sophia, that's me. That's my that sounds like name. the title of a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> okay. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> Chloe or Sam or Sophia or Marcus. All right. One fish, two fish, three fish, four fish. Placing All right. blame on somebody and trying to say, oh, what was Sam? Oh, I yeah. was with Cassandra. Well, who was it? Who yeah. was it? All right, all right, so we're gonna do this next song, Chloe, Sam, Sophia, Marcus, all right? In three, 
two, one. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Someone just commented, now we're never going to get the Evermore breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, Amy, surprise, that was an Aaron Desner song. What? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know why I loved it, but now I do. <laughs> okay, so maybe this is bold to say. Where do you see only... it's, Yeah, it's on Spotify. Okay. Maybe this is a bold thing to say just based off of three songs that we've gotten through um with the anthology but i feel like these three songs are like the tortured poet thing that we were like expecting like yeah, more like absolutely whatever is the regular standard edition was that the red herring yes you know what i mean like the three two one the red herring the distraction that's the album that leaked no one knew about this one and then we get this and this is like this is the true. This is like the true, like, th I feel like this is just darker and deeper than the other one that's more upbeat and fun. Yeah. Not that it was upbeat and fun, but like, you know what I mean? Like, a, some of it was a little bit more like hearted than we expected. Like, like, it's just like, not all. The, the standard edition of the Tortured Poets was the red herring so that we didn't expect the anthology at all. I mean, we did with the like twos and the, you know what I mean? But like, it's just, that's, that, that was the era three, two, one. Mm. That was, that that's that's how it all connects mm -hmm. if that even makes sense that's deep 
that's deep. This is wild, y'all. We got a whole say. album we're still trying to get through. This is awesome. <gasps> I'm so happy right now. I know. Who? The front cord, I think. I think the Do I need to go check? Yeah. Okay. Here, y'all can play this. No, no wait, no, 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 no. I heard. I thought I heard the door. I can go check it. It's I'll go look. It's okay. I'll be right back. I don't know. I think there's. I could be crazy. Good thing there's a strong man here. Yeah. <laughs> With a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, just in case. Just in case. Not really. <laughs> Just in case nobody was afraid of little us. Little us? Yeah. We're not going to sleep. No. This is but crazy. I, this is... So we just run home and shower and then come back? I think so. <sighs> At what point um, do we start drinking coffee? Okay, which one was that one? That was Chloe, Marcus, Sam. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, so we've listened to four songs. Yeah, it was Chloe or Sam or Sophia or Marcus. Like, not sure exactly. How is Sophia who it is. spelled with a PH or an F? Uh, it's cut off. I only see the S. Hold on. There's Nick. I see Nick. Nothing. I'm just crazy. Nick, you're crazy. I'm sorry. I'm crazy. It's okay. Man, Sophia's it's a PH. Wrong. Thanks for looking. I'm so sorry. My middle name is Sophia with an F. With an F? Yeah. All right. Earlier in one of the songs, she did say Nick of Time. Mm -hmm. So she said Nick. She said Sophia. Let's see if we get a or Amelia. Yeah. You got multiple. Or Danielle. She could say Amelia. All right. So now we are all going to tune in to a song called How Did It End that she wrote with Aaron Desner. And this is track five. Ooh. Okay. Thanks for keeping track of that. I wasn't. All right. Here we go. How Did It End? All together. Three, two, one. Tortured.
That was track five Ooh. as fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's that, track five. Uh, Death rattle. Go back up, Nick. Sitting in a tree, DIY and G. Yeah. yeah. Breathing oh. silence as the soul Where's is leaving. My dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is, that's, bereft. that's um bereft. Yeah. How many times has bereft I've been used never, in a song? Never, never heard it. I mean, I've song. heard somebody might have some bad breath, but I've never heard it. <laughs> bereft. 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 Wow, okay. Yeah, that was track five. That was a track five. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, like we said earlier, track fives, then you got that whiplash. Whiplash. Track six. So Because a lot of times track five is a little slower. Track six is like way poppy, more upbeat. So we'll track, five <laughs> track five squared. So, all right. So let's move on to the next song. And it is called... It's called So High School. Oh, okay, I love that. And it is with Aaron Desner. All right, so we're going to play this now in three, two, one. I love it already. <laughs> Gamer era. <laughs>
Okay, so I think Travis got a song. Travis got a song. She says several things in there that are like Mary Kiss Kiss Mary Kiss. Kiss Mary Kill. There's like a video of him going around from like five years ago where a reporter is like Taylor Swift, so two other people kiss Mary Kill. Um and I think he says kiss Taylor. Yeah. Anyways, he she sings something about practice. Yeah. Uh, uh, I feel like laughing in the middle of practice. Practice, and she says, "You know how to ball." I yeah. know Aristotle. <laughs> <laughs> Great wordplay right there. Brand new full throttle. I that mean, was so. That, that oh my god. The relationship so well. So, and it's so funny because, like, when they started dating and even now, everyone's been saying that they are like the high school, like, yeah, you know, like jock pop star like yeah. prom king and queen of it all there, there is another line where she says i'm sinking our fingers entwined um i've seen people post pictures of her holding travis's hand and her holding yeah. other yeah. people's hands and yeah. her and travis's are intertwined and other people's are like yeah cut i need to see a video of travis bobbing to that song <laughs> i singing it at his next super bowl win i love that so much I love that. So yeah, that was school. great. That was so fun. high school, but like that's such a like a playful way to do like say it. Yeah. Ah! All right. I squeal. So now we're gonna move on to the next song that, all together. What are the comments saying? That was a whiplash track. Yeah, that yeah. was. The song is so happy. This should have been the lead single. The lyrics was the lyrics. Uh, the she alchemy is also Maddie not Travis. Joe. <laughs> what? Kiss, Mary, kill. Would it, it's Travis, Joe, and Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> so this next song is also an Aaron Desner song. It's called I Hate It Here. And we're all going to listen to it together for the very first time. Three, two, one.
Wow. Another great song. I love that song. I do too. That was great. How is she going to add 30 songs to the air store? <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah. Not 30. <laughs> okay, what does precocious mean? Because it means like wonder, like wondrous, like curious is what I'm guessing. If you're a precocious child, maybe. What's the exact? Wait, there's a song called Thank You, Amy. Stop. Will you, will you stop reading ahead? Are you serious? Will you stop They're reading teasing. ahead? <laughs> is it really? She's joking. Oh my God. <laughs> What's precocious? Just, it says ridiculous. having developed certain abilities or proclivities <laughs> of an, at an earlier age than usual. What yeah. does proclivity <laughs> mean? <laughs> so, being, so, being, like a, wait, being more advanced than a normal child would, right? Yeah. Precocious, I guess. All right. <laughs> so this next song is called "Thank You, Amy," or maybe it's "Almy." No, it. No, like yeah, pull Amy. it, pull it up. Okay, let so her see. Next, Are you kidding? No, for no. Real. This next song is called "Thank You, Amy," and it's spelled weird. Oh, it is spelled weird. It's spelled but weird. But it still says "Thank You, Amy." Yeah. But it what? says "I am." Maybe she's Amy. But the K well, is also listen, capitalized. So it's all lowercase. Thank you, Amy. But the K, okay. I, and M are capitalized. Kim. Say Kim. Oh, Kim. <gasps> but my alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. I better be nice. <laughs> All right. Maybe it'll be like uh, Evermorian just for you. So this is with uh, Aaron Desner, Amy. Yay. All right. So let's all listen to and enjoy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. For the first time together. All right. Three, two, one. I love it. <laughs> Of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <coughs> so it's really Kim, right? <laughs> it's really Kim. So, I'm not going to lie, until yeah. that thank you, Amy part, I was going to say, we need to get this song changed, because <laughs> it's hilarious it that funny. that's the fuck you to the sky, Amy, is the song, but <laughs> at least there's a good message in the end, and the names sure. have been changed to protect right. the innocent, so Kim. it's not... Uh, well, it's Kim. Yeah. Kim. Yeah. It's Kim Kardashian, right? <laughs> oh. Amy. But, now that we... I, you know, you, you fuck you, out, of, out of all the things I thought Taylor would do for me, <laughs> not, this is almost better than getting a lobster. Yeah, that's the hardest to laugh. <laughs> that, like, very my stomach, time. like, hurts. Like, we have the Instagram captions for days. And, yeah, she spelled Amy exactly like the way you spell your Amy. No, it's I, not. Uh, I <laughs> What did you do, Amy? <laughs> I wanted my song until that. Now I think no. I'm done. Yeah. Oh my god. She wrote that after you ranked all too well. Number three. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's the funniest thing. Okay. So in reality, that was definitely That's about Kardashian. That, yeah, for sure. But, oh my gosh. But we as a podcast, that was fantastic because of Amy. I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. Yeah. Just for Amy to say, I hope it's a good song and then it's, <laughs> and then it's, like, and then it's like my mom wishes you were dead. I want to push you down. Because my mom's such a saint. Oh man. Oh, she was oh, oh, that was so good. Love you, Amy. Alright. So Thank you, Amy. That was so good. That was interesting though, like in, in the real song, like of course, like she's saying like, fuck you, like whatever. Kim. But, but then at the feels. end, she's like, at the end, she's like, no, but I wouldn't have what I have if, yeah. if it wasn't. I grew so much. Yeah. So, so thank you. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. that's, that's maturity. Start off a little petty. <laughs> but then she turned it around. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. All right. This next song is uh, called, I Look in People's Windows. I like, fuck you, Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> called, fuck you, Lacey. And she wrote this with Jack Antonoff. I look at people's windows. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Sorry, I'm still, I need to focus. <laughs>
Ooh, a short song. A shorty. Oh, yeah. I like it because when I walk my dog, I too look in people's windows. I know you have to. You have to look into other so people's windows. So that's relatable. I just still can't get over the age. I'm so sorry. I couldn't yeah. focus for the first half. <laughs> Goodness. All right. So if you're just joining us, hi, we're 13 at Taylor Swift hi. Fan Podcast. And we are listening to the Tortured Poets Department, the what what is the anthology is what this new album is called. We thought we were done, but then she drops 15 more songs on after we listen to the first round of the Tortured Poets Department. So now we're gonna move on to a song called The Prophecy. And we're listening Ooh. to these in our headphones. So that they don't go over the streams so that it's not bad audio and that we don't get kicked off for like copyright infringement and stuff. So um, we're going to count down and listen to the song all together for the very first time. So this is called The Prophecy. It is written with Aaron Desner. Here we go. In three, two, one. I already love it. Mm. Beige. It's like beige and gray together. <laughs> Dorothea Ooze. The prophecy. I got it.
Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. Ouch. The prophecy, instant favorite, instant. It's a heart heartbreaking song. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like a paperweight. Yeah. In shades of grayish. Grayish. My goodness. Yeah. Sign of a soulmate. I know. I don't no, want money. <clears throat> just want company. Just want company. No, someone who wants, who wants my, my company. company. Yeah. Who wants oh. me around? Hey, thought I caught lightning in a bottle. Oh. But it's, it's gone, gone again. again. Man. Yeah. Oh my God! I ah, uh, can I say something, please? The next song. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm loving the anthology. Uh, it's like yeah. it's the best. Just, it's, yeah. it's, it's 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 what I was what, looking it's, for. It's you know what it's, I mean. It's the light <clears throat> poetic. It's, it's, I know it's the poetic. It's, it's yeah. the. For a minute, yeah. I was like, what is grayish? And then I realized it's gray and beige together. But for I was like, hmm, remember that word, because I'm going to have to look it up. And by me, look it up, I mean tell Amy to look it up on the mm -hmm. Android. <laughs> All right. Goodness. All right. We're going to plow on through. The next song is going to be called Cassandra. And it is written by Taylor name. Swift and Aaron Desner. Ooh. All right. So let's all buckle up, listen together. Here we go in three, two, one. Cassandra. Cassandra.
thought I heard someone else's voice in there, but I couldn't find it anywhere. <clears throat> Did y'all hear it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Morning, warning. No, what I, I was just trying to understand <laughs> what she was saying. But this comment says, according to Genius, Cassandra alludes to the ancient Greek Trojan priestess. Usually she would have had very accurate prophecies, but they would be so devastating that people would not believe her. Which makes sense because at the library, at the Spotify thing, there was like mm -hmm. statues of like Greek-esque mm -hmm. type. Yeah. Warning, warning. I just thought that was genius. I mean, she's already taught us words and given us a lot of emotions and stuff, but rhyming morning and warning, I just thought that was great. Mm -hmm. So this next song is written with Aaron Desner. It's called Peter. And you know what, guys? We have four songs left. So many names. Yeah, Peter. No Lacey yet. With Aaron yes. Desner. All right, so let's listen to Peter all together. Three, two, one. Oh, this. What song does this remind me of? It's giving me New Year's Day.
interesting. Mm. Wow. Uh, beautiful there's one. a comment. Peter Pan never grew up. Oh. Peter losing Wendy. Peter. Uh, Tried to change the ending. Peter, Peter losing, losing Wendy. Wendy. Ah. And Peter, you said you were going to come grow up, but you were going to come find me. He never grew up. Uh. He never did. And she did. So she really uh. did change the ending. Wow. She did it. All right. <clears throat> so, that, bridge, that bridge was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We got three songs left, everybody. This next song is called The Bolter. Ah. The Bolter. Which that's a variant. So, this is written with Aaron Desner. All right, home stretch. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Ooh, nice little story there. Yeah, that's like uh, right where you left me, wordy level. Yeah, very wordy. You know? Well, kids, we have two songs left. This next song is called Robin. 
Robin. As in like the bird. The bird, I guess. Or it someone's could, or name. How do you name. spell how do you spell Robin if it's a girl's it, name? I think it could be either way. This is spelled R O B I N. Yeah. That could be a name. Okay. It could also be a bird. Well, it's written with Aaron Desner. And here we go. Three, two, one. Batman sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> Batman sidekick. Beautiful. Aww. Oh, my God, Robin. Boy, we, Robin. Like, never we, grow up. Is it a boy? Well, I mean, I just, I I don't know. The dinosaurs and stuff. I'm Not that it has I'm to curious be. curious because we don't know the fourth name of Ryan Reynolds and Bruce Lively's kid. Oh. So what if this is, she loves to use. She does. She loves to use the children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, maybe she's like, oh, man, all the other ones have songs. <laughs> this one needs a song. That's so aww. Yeah. It's like, Way it's to like, go, tiger. It's I, like, it's I was like having a hard time. Yeah, I was having a hard time understanding what this is about at first. And I was like, oh, it's kind of about like a kid keeping their Maybe innocence as much yeah. as you can. Yeah. Oh, that one kind of got to me at the end. 
I know. I was kind of thinking if it was like. Well, once it finally finally clicked what she was singing about, I was like, oh, I get it. It's kind of like a lullaby. Yeah. Maybe a tiger. We're going to keep all the bad things from you in sweetness. Yeah. Way to go, tiger. Because there's no room in your dreams for regret. Yeah. I wonder if you're right, Amy. I wonder if this is, I don't know, the other child's name. The fourth. Like, has a sister named Robin, but I can see them naming them after. Yeah. It's a good comment. All right. We are on to our very last song. Last Before song. we get to our last song, we want to tell everybody, if you've been watching us this whole time, thank you so much. <laughs> this will be the fifth time you've heard us tell you that we're having an event. <laughs> and it's called Swifties in the Park. We are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas. So it's at Grandscape in the Colony. Tickets are on sale now at the13podcast.net. If you use the code 1313POETS, you'll get 25% off your purchase if you use that at checkout. And we're going to have a blast. We're going to be doing a live podcast recording. We have a ton of fun games we're having. I'm really looking forward to our Swifty market where Swifties in our community are coming together and showing off their fun items that they sell in their own businesses that you can purchase and load up on fun items. And it's going to be a blast. So that's happening next Saturday. April 27th from 2 to 5 at Grandscape in the Colony. So we hope to see you there. Tickets on sale at 13podcast.net. Use the code 13POETS. Come hang out with us. Come We're hang out with fun. us. Yes. All right. The very last song is called The Manuscript. Ooh. Let's and, hope for a Lacey. I need a Lacey. <laughs> and she wrote it with Aaron Desner. So here we go. Last. She doesn't have another countdown going on, does she? <laughs> I think she does. I don't think she does. The 3 a.m. edition. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so here is the manuscript. Starting it in three, two, one. It's like, welcome to the Black Parade.
Whoa. Wow. Wow. What so, a way what a way to end yeah that entire experience. She got mm -hmm. it all out of her. Mm -hmm. The story's not mine anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Then the I wonder exactly ours now. what she's saying there. I don't know. Um that was a beautiful last song. Mm -hmm. But then saying the story isn't mine anymore, it's yours sounds really final. But I mean I know she's not quit it, but I mean, if we're talking about like bookends in the terms of her last relationship, it makes me think of please don't read the last page. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because in reality, she, they're not together. Yeah, you know what I mean? It is an anymore. Yeah. Wow. 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 That was so much fun. That was insane. That was a lot. <laughs> we have a lot of new music to Thirty take in. One songs. Gosh. Someone how, many, how many were we read, Taylor's version? Was it 31? It was like, yeah, something like that. So all of it together is two hours and two minutes. <laughs> wow. It. Of course. Of course, Taylor. Oh, that was beautiful. That was great. Wow. Thank you guys for um, staying, staying uh, <laughs> and for experiencing this with us. This yes. was un unreal and one of the best experiences of this with me. I cannot believe we have thirty one new songs. And we're gonna know. Songs. We're gonna know all the words by tomorrow. Red has Ooh. thirty songs. Okay. Red has thirty. Okay. Red Taylor's version has thirty. And this one has thirty one. Wow! I cannot believe she actually wow. did the double album. Yeah, like she actually, did she did it, Lacey. <laughs> We Fuck you, Amy. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to doubt you. Ah, no, wow. that was fantastic. Thank you all so much for so hanging out. Elizabeth said 31 is 13 backwards. Ah! Ah! Okay, so right now, what is everyone's favorite song? Oh, my God. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't know. Uh, I would have I to like get this Thank second. You, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's got my name in it. I yeah. did like the black dog. The black dog black was dog really is fantastic. Yeah. I like the black dog. So um, high school. The I still like the prophecy. But daddy, I love him. So we're talking about and, all the songs. Oh yeah, if we go L back. L -M -L, down that bad. Was so good. Who's yeah. afraid of little old me? Wow. wow so much. We're not we're not doing our top five tonight, are we? No. Okay. I mean, uh, we need to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we, we need to be on TV soon. Yeah, we have to be on TV, so we need to go yeah. take a nap. We're going to be on TV around 8 o'clock ish Central Time on Merritt Street Mornings. Mm -hmm. um, that's Dr. Phil's new TV channel. They have their morning news show, and they've asked us to come on and talk about <laughs> Taylor Swift and the new album and all the fun things happening in the music world. So. So we gotta go looking pretty. We gotta go yeah. sleep and looking pretty and get our thoughts together. Listen to music some more. Yeah. Woo, what a uh, day. Yeah. What a night. What Love a all of this. Um, subscribe to the podcast anywhere you find podcasts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on all of our social medias. And we hope to see you at Swifties in the Park Woo! next week to talk about all of this. Um, Amy and I have to go take a two-hour nap. <laughs> and then we'll be on TV. Mm. Yay! Goodbye, everybody. Thank you bye. for joining. Bye from all the channels. Bye. Bye, uh, bye you. YouTube. Bye, bye TikTok. Bye, Instagram. Bye. 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 All right, signing off there. Sign off of uh, uh, all of them. Okay. End bye. stream. Bye. Love you all. Bye. Yes, we're going to end the stream. And, and then.